In this video, I'm going to show you some advanced words and expressions that can help you get a seven or more for vocabulary in writing task one. If we look at the examiner criteria under vocabulary, we can see that for a six, it says, attempts to use less common vocabulary, but with some inaccuracy. For a seven, we have uses less common lexical items, Lexical items just means vocabulary. And for an eight, it says skillfully uses uncommon lexical items. So to get a seven or more for vocabulary, one of the things you need to do is use less common vocabulary correctly. But what does less common vocabulary mean exactly? Well, it's the kind of advanced vocabulary that's often used by native speakers and is used much less by non-native speakers. Idioms are an example of this kind of language. To see some examples of this kind of language in use, let's do an activity. Here we have some sentences with some less common vocabulary highlighted. Take some time just to read the sentences. And here we have definitions that give the meaning of the highlighted vocabulary. However, they're not in the correct order. What I want you to do is to match the definition to the highlighted vocabulary. Hit pause and do that now. Remember, you can also download a document with this exercise if you prefer to do it that way. Okay, are you ready for the answer? Here you go. Well done. Okay, now in this next exercise, you're going to practice using this vocabulary correctly. Remember, if you don't use this kind of language correctly, you probably won't get a seven or more for vocabulary. Okay, here we have the less common vocabulary that you've just seen. And here we have a sentence. Remove the language in bold and complete the sentence with one of these words or phrases. The meaning of the sentence must stay the same. Hit pause and do that now. Are you ready? Okay, this sentence becomes, please let us know at your earliest convenience if you can attend the party. Remember, this expression is formal and should only be used in a formal letter. Next we have, the building was constructed in around 1980. Are you ready for the answer? The building was constructed in 1980 or thereabouts. Next. And the answer? Next. Are you ready? Okay, and the next sentence? The answer is this. Next, we have, the house is very cold, mainly due to the size of the windows. And here's the answer. Now, instead of in large part due to, you can also say due in large part to, which sounds even more sophisticated. Okay, next. I don't enjoy waiting for the bus in the rain. And the answer. And finally, which becomes the food served on the plane was far from satisfactory. Okay, well done. Those are just a few examples of the kind of less common language that can help you get a seven or more for vocabulary. Now, it's very important that you try to learn as much of this kind of vocabulary as possible, especially if you think you're weak in this area. If that's the case, I highly recommend that you obtain this book and start doing the exercises. There's an advanced version 
and an intermediate version, and they're both really good. In the next video, we're going to look at some word combinations that can also help you get a seven or more for vocabulary.